Hey guys, so let's start with our override extension. Let me create a new folder. Hide history. Okay, and the first thing that we do is manifest. Let's get rid of the usual manifest version two, then name. hide history and then we have our version okay so if we go back to our documentation to override a page we need to have a again a configuration in the manifest chrome url overrides and then this page to override can take three, either of the three values either bookmarks history or new tab so it will override one of these pages Let's go ahead and declare that in our manifest. Chrome URL overrides. Oh, not writes. Overrides. I'm missing a bike rights. Overrides. And we want to override the history page. I think it's called history. Yeah, history. History page. And we will provide our own index for HTML for this. So we'll need a HTML file. Now our template for HTML5 document and we'll just have an H1 tag where we'll write whatever message you want. Let's say you shall not pass. Okay, let's go ahead and load the section sun in the let's remove the earlier one which I was using for demo and load. Functional and I guess blogging tutorial. Okay, hide history, open. Let's close all this. Now, if we go to our history page, it switched my history. But if I enable this and I go back to history page again, it does not show me my history. So, this is how you can override your pages. Uh, you can override your bookmarks page, your new tab, new tab page, and your history page. Uh, maybe we'll build a momentum clone with all the to-do features and all the course features once we have with all the chrome extensions i think that would be a good project to build so yeah this is it for this one guys stay tuned and i'll see you on the next one thanks